Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lara Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. And we'll be talking about the bubbles for Android. Uh, you might have seen this uh, integration in the Facebook mobile application for Android, the Facebook Messenger, where you get to have a bubble ad. You know, bubbles for Android is an Android library to provide chat ads capabilities on your application with a fast way to integrate with your development. I uh, will be talking about a library which is from uh, the TXUS Ball Ballestros Bubbles 1.2.1. So I'll be moving straight to Android Studio while I'll be explaining the source file in details on how to integrate the bubbles, you know, into your Android application as a chat head. Uh, you can uh, actually extend more from this application by probably adding intents or adding other calls to the bubble icon itself. Firstly, we'll be talking about the Big Radio, the Model App Session, where you have the dependency from the TXUS A Ball ES Trust. You know, this particular dependency are uh, the bubbles 1.2.1. .1, very, very important. Uh, you need to include these uh, your dependencies. And after doing that, you synchronize with Gradu, you have your application set. We'll be looking at the layout, the activity main XML, the bubble layout XML, the bubble trash layout XML. Because you're going to have a trash, whereby you're going to drag you know, to trash, just the same way you have in your Facebook Messenger. The activity main XML uh, will be it's a relative layout with uh, the layout height and uh, width or match parent. The padding right top, bottom, 16 dBs. The context is calling the main activity Java class. We have the button that is actually going to trigger the bubble. Uh, we assign an ID to it called add. Uh, the width and height match parent and wrap content respectively. And the text on it is add bubble. The bubble layout itself is going to call the Become CXUS ball ballestros dot bubbles dot bubble layout. This is the tag that actually uh, uh, calls out the bubble itself. You have the layout with the night wrap content, the clip children to pause and clip to pattern to pause. It, an image follows with an avatar, which is like uh, uh, an icon or let's say uh, the profile icon of a particular user. Uh, we have a text view. You now this proper icon is actually scale the type center crop. A text view follows that actually holds on to uh, uh, the text, which is the we have on the background. You know the drawable, uh, calling the bubble counter BKG. We we'll get to see all those uh, rest folders. The pattern left and right for 10 dps, and we have the closing bubble layout tag. Let's get to look at the bubble trash layout. This is an image view whereby we have the source from the lip map, the bubble trash background, that's the cancel sign. The layout graffiti is bottom and center horizontal. The layout with an eye content. Let's get to look at the drawable used. Uh, we have the bubble counter BKG uh, XML, whereby you have the color from the brand red from the color XML. We have the profile decorator, you know, that actually decorates the profile. And we have the profile itself, you know, just uh, someone, you know, just uh, an image from Google Play. That's fine. And we'll be looking at the Java classes where we have the main activity, which is actually uh, calling on this bubble. We have the bubble layout as an import, the bubbles manager, the uninitialized callback from the bubble. The main activity extends action back action bar activity where we have the private bubbles manager you know calling on the bubbles manager uh, library you know class on this uh, import so we, we give it a bubbles manager object the on create method separate, set the super create appropriately and set the content view to the layout activity main now we're going to call the initialized bubble manager method we get to see what this method is going to do uh, we initialize the uh, the add button you know, from the XML, whereby we set an on click listener to this. And when the when the click listener is being triggered, 
there's going to be a call to the have new bubble method so we're talking about two methods here the have new bubble and the initialize bubble manager what's the have new bubble going to do uh we have to instantiate the bubble view we get the layout inflates uh, from the main activity and inflate based on the bubble layout xml uh, we set the bubble remove listener you know, by instantiating the new bubble layout on bubble remove listener as well. We have the unbubble remove method where you pass the bubble object. Now we're going to set the unbubble click listener to this particular new bubble created. This is where you can actually uh, extend more of the bubble in itself. Probably uh, after it showed, instead of getting a toast that it has been clicked, you might call an intent to another activity, you know, based on what you actually want uh, the bubble header to actually be directed to. You know, that's just where you, you get to uh, modify. Uh, you said they should stick to wall, you know, which is actually at the home screen, true. And add bubble, you know, you add, this is the width and height of the bubble, 60 by 20. The initialize bubble manager itself, you initialize it with a new keyword to create an object from it called bubbles manager you set to trash layout we call on the trash layout which is the xml of the trash you set the initialization callback whereby you're going to add the new bubble as well based on the add new bubble method and you get it initialized we have the undestroy method that destroys uh, uh the bubble manager uh objects the manifest is so simple just that you need to add an app theme to your styling, which you actually need an app theme for these bubbles uh, integration to actually work in your Android application. I'll be uploading this source file to my GitHub account, and I'll be showing you this in an Android emulator to actually see uh, how the bubble uh, in Android actually flows. Here we go with the application, the bubbles. We have the add bubble uh, button. So unclick this is going to trigger the unclick listener and create a new bubble. So let's click this to get the bubble out. Uh, can you see the chat head with the profile icon set? And uh, even if you close this application, you're still going to have your bubble right on the home screen. You know? So you can easily drag around just like the, uh, the messenger you used to uh, enjoy in Facebook, whereby you have your chat head so you can use this for your chat air. This is the graphics that actually gets uh, this done, the bubble head in Android. So with this, you can decide to move to trash. You know, can you notice that the trash icon is visible? You know, uh, waiting you to drag the uh, the bubble icon right into it so that it's going to trash it up. So let's move that into trash, get it cancelled. That's just it. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.